Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am excited to introduce my spring flower fairy doll kit. I love the beautiful soft pastel colors in this kit. It gets me so excited for warmer weather and for sunshine and for flowers. If you're new to making fairies, you'll want to check out my basic fairy doll tutorials. I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel that help teach you how to make these beautiful little dolls. Um, the videos are filled with tips and tricks. If um, you are a seasoned fairy maker. I hope this tutorial or this video gives you some fun ideas. And without further ado, this is my newest flower fairy kit. The thing I love about the kits is you get everything you need to make a flower fairy doll. This kit will be available in two different ways. You can get it uh, like you see here with all three flowers, or you can get them with just the individual flowers. So each kit will include the flower fairy making basics, a wooden bead, a piece of floral wire, and some embroidery floss for the skin and the hair. And the embroidery floss for the skin will match the skin tone you pick for the bead. So there are three different skin tones and four different hair colors that you can pick from. I love the different options because it really gives you the opportunity to customize your doll. So there's a blonde hair color, a light brown, a gorgeous auburn, and then a dark brown black. And you will pick those from the drop down menu when you're ordering the kit. Etsy only lets you pick the first option. So if you want three different skin tones or three different hair colors, let me know in the notes. And then here's the dark the olive skin tone and the light. So there's an example of those. I do actually hand paint the dark brown black bead and the olive skin tone bead. So you get that already taken care of for you. There are video instructions to go along with the kit. All you do is take your smartphone, hold it over the QR code, and it will take you to my YouTube channel where there are tons of videos that teach you the basics in fairy making. You can also find this if you go to my website, untidyartist.com, or if you go to my YouTube channel. You'll find a fairy basics uh, playlist that you can follow along where I break down each step in detail, and there's also different hairstyles and fairy wings and all sorts of fun things for your fairies. And before I show you exactly what's in the kit, I have to take a second and talk about this gorgeous tissue paper. So I found a line of tissue paper that I am obsessed with. It's so pretty. It's actually made in Italy. And this tissue paper was really the inspiration for this kit. So here is the first flower. So if you were to order the light green peony, you would get this beautiful ruffly peony. You would get a light green thread a custom glitter blend, and a little crystal to go with your doll. So here's a close-up of that flower. I really love using peonies for skirts because it just makes a beautiful flower fairy skirt. And you can either use the longer petals on top to make it more flowy or the ruffly petals on top to make it more ruffly. So here's a close-up of that mint green. I love this color. It's so soft and springy. And here is a close-up of that beautiful glitter blend. And this actually has about eight different types of glitter in it. It's got some iridescent, some different shades of light minty green. And then uh, with this doll, you will get a beautiful crystal. I love putting crystals on my flower fairies. And so you, this is what one of the dolls looks like that I put together. This one has the blonde hair, the light skin, and you can see I used those more ruffly petals on the top and I just absolutely love how she turned out. For the next uh, flower, this is a fuller kind of peachy pink peony. Um, this one also comes with the thread that matches the flower. You're getting a rose colored crystal and once again, a custom glitter blend. And I love the colors in this flower. It's so pretty. It has little uh, bits of brighter pink on some of the tips and it just makes the most beautiful flower fairy skirt. Once again, this is a peony, one of my absolute favorites to use for fairies. Here is a close up of the thread. It's this really pretty peachy color, soft and pastel, so beautiful. And then the glitter blend. So this has peach and light pink and iridescent glitter in it. And it's so pretty. So you'll get all of those things if you order the pink peony kit. And here's a close up of that crystal. It's a light rose iridescent crystal that you can use to decorate with your doll with. You can see here, I'm. Uh, this is a doll with the dark brown black skin and the dark brown black hair color. And I just love how she turned out. So pretty. 
For the next kit, you will get, this is, this one's actually a little bit different than anything I've done before. So for this kit, you'll actually get two flowers. So I've always wanted to do a Gerbera Daisy flower fairy, but just one flower doesn't give you enough petals to make a really pretty skirt. So I played around with this and realized that if we just, if I put two petal or two flowers in the kit, you'd have more than enough petals to make a really roughly beautiful skirt. So here's a close up of that flower and you will get two of them. These beautiful pastel aqua colored Gerbera daisies and they're just such a fun skirt. So here's a close up of the thread that comes with this one. You can see it matches the flower and then also a close up of our glitter blend. Okay, so in this glitter blend, if you look closely, there are little tiny blue butterflies. I'm so obsessed with this glitter. It is so cute and I had so much fun mixing this together. So this is the custom glitter blend that will come with um, this this flower fairy kit and then an aqua colored iridescent crystal to decorate your doll with here's an example of one of the dolls I made this one has the auburn hair and the light skin tone and I just love her see how darling those two flowers mixed together are it just gives you a much fuller whimsical flower fairy skirt and then of course there's my favorite option where you can order all three of the flower fairies. You get three wooden beads, three pieces of floral wire, the skin and hair tones. Remember you pick the first one from the drop down menu and let me know in the notes of your order what other two skin tones or hair colors you want. You get all of the flowers, you get the custom glitter blends, a little packet with all three crystals, and then of course our beautiful pastel embroidery floss. So I love this because you have so many different uh, supplies that you can play around with and mix things up. If you're interested in purchasing a fairy kit, there's a link to my Etsy shop below. And in the next few days, I will be posting a tutorial where I'm going to actually uh, make all three dolls in one tutorial where I show you different ways you can style these dolls. Remember, I have a lot of different hairstyles on my YouTube channel. These pigtail braids are one of my favorites and I love it for spring. I have actually also been working on four other Flower Fairy kits. Uh, one of the other spring kits will be launching in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this and you love fairies, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with someone that you know that loves doll making and fairy making or just loves fairies. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It really does help my channel out a lot. Thank you guys so much. Once again, I appreciate your support and your kind words, and I love hearing from you guys, and we'll see you next time.